Bisping just to go, has to go out and beat Michael Bisping. It's exactly the same game. And uh, for him, it's just about advanced basics, it's about fundamentals, it's about pace, and just put it on Dan Henderson. We've seen how good Michael Bisping has been and progressively better. And you know, to be honest, we talk about growth a lot. We talk about how we see improvements in fighters. They don't have a fixed mindset, they've got a growth mindset. And our guy Paul Shaughnessy put together a little piece about how Michael Bisping was able to beat Lou Brockholt, and we look back. So watch this, he steps outside here, and he's looking into his ear. When you can look into a man's ear, it's a good time to shoot and throw a punch. He's stepped out hard with his left foot and comes in from an angle. And you'll see, you talk about seven years since the uh, Dan fight. Look at this, this is uh, 2014. And right there, he's not able to move his foot the same way. So he's still looking in the ear, but his feet aren't placed, he's not balanced. So you're seeing him develop this exact skill against Kung Lee in 2014. And then in 2015, the exact same skill here against CB Dalloway. This time he's in the southpaw stance, looking into the ear, stepped out, much cleaner shot right here and he kept developing and developing the skill. You see little improvements in Mike Bisping's expression. You see it against Anderson Silva in early 2016. And then, of course, it all comes together when it matters most. Look at the cleanliness of that technique as he steps his left foot outside the right and comes around, looks in the ear, and I don't know what he's saying there, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's pretty worked up.